So Bates down one nothing, but they've got two runners in scoring position and one out here in the bottom of the second. And the 1-0. Ground ball to short. Infield's back, giving up the run for the out. It's a low throw. It's a throwing error, in fact, because it gets all the way over to the fence on the first base side, and Margoloff takes second. So Margoloff is at third. Bates has already stolen three bases today, and that one swung on a miss for strike three. Pitches in the dirt. Runner going for first. Now the throw to the plate, and Margoloff able to score. Without a slide. Heads up base running by the Bobcats again. Line drive through the left side for a base hit. So Margoloff comes through his second RBI of the afternoon, and Bates leads 4-2. to two. Nowak at third. And the pitch, runner goes, showing bunt. The ball then gets away, and Nowak comes in to score. Genzer going for third, and he'll get there. First and third one out, showing bunt found. That one's a strike. Runner goes, and the Bobcats have now broken the program record for stolen bases in one season. Give them 89 now on the year for Bates as Margalos steals second. What an amazing accomplishment for the Cats. The payoff. Ground ball up the middle, but over there. The flip to second. That's not going to be in time. The relay to first is not in time either. So everyone's safe, a run scores, and the Bobcats lead six to three. The payoff pitch to Chris Semino is on its way as the runners go. He lines it to left field, ranging over there, unable to get to it, is Warren down the line for an extra base hit. Two runs are gonna score, and the Bobcats extend their lead to eight to three on the two RBI double by Chris Semino. What a hitter. Yeah, he's retired side in order last inning and the first two this inning. Swing and a miss, strike three. Corbin McAlpine continues to be outstanding out of the pen. That is three hitless, scoreless innings from the junior. To Jack Brennan is on its way. Line drive, left field, base hit for Brennan. Fallon's gonna score easily, it's down the line. Brennan digging for two. The throw's cut off, it's a stand-up double for Brennan. And the Bobcats add the lead, it's nine to three. McCaslin ready, is 0-2 again. Swing and a miss, he struck him out and that's your ball game. Bobcats win it by a final score of nine to three over Husson. As they took the lead in the second inning and did not surrender it the remainder of the game.